How do you become a producer in the film industry? You might have the goal that I want to make a lot of money in the film industry, I want to produce my own stuff, and maybe you've been producing some smaller stuff, you know, some no budget stuff, and you're like, how do I make that leap then into the bigger stuff? Well, here's a perfect example from the A-List Mastermind. Uh, one of our people, Crystal, is a director assistant on a big feature film right now, and she's posting what she's doing on this feature film, who she's interacting with, the things that she's having to do as a director assistant. Now, if you're like, oh, but I want to be a producer. <laughs> It's, it's all good. It's all the same kind of experience that you're getting by helping out on set and being right in the exact middle of it all is it's all being creative, created. Work, we're working with pre-production. We're working with casting. We're working with working out the scenes with the department heads. And Crystal is in the middle of it all with the director and with the producer, of course. They're always there together. So this is such great training for Crystal. Now, the thing that I love about this is that from this job is going to come so many other jobs. Most people start their career in the film industry and they're like, they got a job here, maybe doing background. Maybe they get a production job here. They get another background job here. They get another job right here, but it's not enough jobs where you're creating a bunch of relationships with people, where you're getting inside and getting people endeared to you, where they think about you and they hire you again and again and again on their next project. Instead, what you want to do is you want to build momentum because out of this job that Crystal's doing right now, she can get like 10 people that she gets on their list that all call her for different projects. And actually, this is what's happening for her. Exactly. That's exactly what's happening. So when she started, she started, she was working at Costco. Yeah. And she knew about friends in film, but, and she'd gone to film school too, but she wasn't working in the film industry. She's working at Costco. She just was unsure about herself. And what she found is as soon as she got in and she started doing our methods, she started working right away. She started working right away. And this is where she's at right now. She's working all the time and consistently and filling her schedule out of 30 days in a month. She's working like 23, 24 days a month. That's a lot. Anywhere from $200 a day to like $350, $400 a day. That's awesome. And she's working in Texas, which has lower rates than other places. So she's doing really well. And her goal is to become a producer. Right now she's got this great director's assistant job and that's teaching her a lot that's going to help her a lot as a producer. She's right there when all these decisions are getting made. So if you want to find a real way to actually become a producer, you need to get inside and start working for real on real professional shoots, just like Crystal. And the great thing about that is that you're making money the whole time. You're making money. Over here, you're barely making money. Over here, when you just have opportunities here, here, and here, in the, in, at the end of the year, maybe you made maybe 10 grand. Over here, you're making 60 grand and you're working consistently which is gonna get you a career where you got all these people referring you work. Oh yeah, you gotta do it the way that we're doing it here, a list, okay? Now, Crystal, when she starts getting producing jobs and she's already gotten a few, she's gonna be starting down here because you know why you start down here? Because you're not gonna start off getting the best producing, highest paying producing jobs, and you're gonna start getting like the web series producing jobs, the ones that you're like 500 bucks a day. That's perfect. You got to get good, cut your teeth and know what you're doing and build your connections. So she's going to start again down here at a higher level than in as production assistant and director assistant, producer assistant. But now she's going to get coordinating jobs and she's going to get production managing jobs. And then she's going to build that. And then she's going to start getting producing jobs. And again, this is going to be the higher rates, higher level jobs. And that is what a career looks like. But you must get this momentum going.